Nordic, tell me a little bit about uh, what's made you guys successful over the years. You've been in business for what, about 20 years? About 20 years, that's yeah, right. What, what's made you successful? We worked really hard to do a quality job. Um, reputation in this industry or in any industry, what else have you got? At the end of the day, our customers need to be able to know that when they receive our products, be it here in this country or any of 27, 28 countries we ship to worldwide, that when they open the container or they take the tarp off the load and receive our lumber, it becomes their raw material for what they're going to manufacture. So the attention to detail by our, our staff, all the way from the person at the, who's sweeping the floor all the way through the person that sits in my chair, has got to really care about the product and the product process and the people that manufacture that product. So we really worked hard to develop that. It's been a 22-year process. It started for me when I was young as a 12, 13-year-old boy working around my dad's old uh, sawmill that he first started with back in the 60s um, and him teaching me the value of quality and those types of things and how important that was. It's a thrill to have uh, several of my children working with me now in leadership roles. They're the top tier management in our company now and uh, to carry on that quality um, aspiration of producing a premium product. You were talking about what you like about Komatsu equipment. Um, what we like about Komatsu, it goes back to operators. If the operator doesn't like the machine, we're doomed. So the machine needed to be um, user friendly, it needed to be comfortable, they needed to be excited and proud to climb up in there. Uh, when the Komatsu rolled on the yard and they took it off the truck, it was a large machine, the largest, highest horsepower machine we'd ever purchased with this company. It was pretty intimidating when it came off the load board and it immediately drew a crowd. And through the whole process of getting accustomed to the ergonomics, getting accustomed to how the machine handled, it was different. We were used to a different type of transmission. We were used to a machine that didn't have as much power. We were used to a machine that burned more fuel, a machine that was not as smart as this machine. Um, so it immediately began to resonate with our operators that to be able to be the guy driving this machine really puts you in a different league. Uh, we did do a little different with the grapple system and put that big Rockland fork on there. It's, it's, our, it's a cornerstone of that yard over there in that yard process now. And um, the guys love it. The machine has performed extremely well. And to this date, we're nothing but satisfied with that piece of machinery. Tell me about your relationship with power equipment. Uh, we have done business with power and equipment over the years. Oh, this is the first really big machine that we bought from the folks here at Power and Equipment. They've been super responsive. If we've had a problem, they've come. Uh, they were they work very closely with us on um, pricing the machinery, and um, it was just a good deal. They they came in no nonsense. They brought good pricing, a good structure, a good machine. Um, from our perspective, it's been a good experience all the way through. And I understand they, you know, they take care of the maintenance or scheduled maintenance for the first few hours. Did that factor into your buying the machine? Is that oh, a kind of value to you? To oh, you absolutely. Um, everything is going to have problems. Anybody's machine, you're going to have a few issues. With power and equipment, we've seen quick response times, and we've seen solutions. And um, that's not always the case and from the folks there at the shop to the salesperson that uh, calls on our account, we've been very satisfied.